My name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine. And this is the RB Money Podcast. Tell them, what it is. Tell them what it is. It's the authority yeah, yeah. on all things. All. All capital things. Capital A. A. Capital L. L. Capital L. L. Tell the them essence yeah. of an RB singer mm -hmm. is not just in how he sounds. Or she. Or she sounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is also in how they look. Yeah, it's a special edition episode. Special edition yeah, episode yeah, yeah, yeah. of when you artists are attracted to the aesthetic mm -hmm. of an artiste. Mm -hmm. Well, there's an artiste that creates that aesthetic. Yeah. Okay? And she is here with us been doing it for me since yeah. the beginning of my yeah. career. Yeah. Make some noise for Tamika Foster Iman. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the style icon herself. Style icon. Yeah. yeah. I love y'all. Yeah. yeah. Styling since style had style to style. Me and Coco Chanel together. We old together. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. You listen, I want to say this. Let me just say this off top and then we're going to get into it. For all y'all who just starting to wear chrome hearts. Mm. <laughs> The Chrome Hearts was put on my body in 2000 by this woman right here. Long time $25,000 belt. That's crazy. Hmm? Hmm. hmm. Gator two piece, <laughs> oh, bottom and top. Oh, shit. Hmm? We've been doing this. Speak on it. Long Speak time. on it. You're late. Yeah, yeah. I was styled by an icon. Yeah, the leathers. Birthday <laughs> twin. Huh? Birthday twin. Town business. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's that kind of episode today. Yeah, yeah, we here. We dripping today. Come on, we here. Huh? Yeah, that's a, here. that's nice I mean, what you I mean, got I, on. You know, Tamika was coming today, baby. Huh? You had to put on a fabric. Ever. That's the, the yeah. that's expensive yeah. knitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? yeah expensive you, knitting. Yeah, if you know, you know. If you know, yeah, you know. If not, then you just <laughs> stick a dick out on a regular you know, shirt. No, it ain't regular. Look, custom rich, fresh, two piece. You know, everybody ain't got this size. You ain't built like me. Something's wrong. You're not with built these like people. me. Huh? <laughs> you don't know what you signed up for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm like, wait a we minute. We got family here today. Oh, yeah. and, she, and she got that shit on too. Uh, listen. Uh -uh. Listen. When uh, let me ask you a question. Yes. When did you know you had an eye for this? Like, you know, I I made very poor clothing decisions in my desire to in, in my transition from church to r&b because <laughs> mm -hmm. i just i didn't know right right and you were the first person that i got to see all oh okay oh shit okay so i should all right now i didn't put the bandanas away which i should i should have done that <laughs> <laughs> well, you had the bandanas. I in went church? to the squat meets and bought no, all the bandanas. Oh, well, you know, I was, uh, I was kind of like, it's a army thug. Still trying to be, yeah. Army I saw R. Kelly wear a bandana. I was yeah. like, I need a bandana. He's like, I'm I need bandanas. I need, I'm like, all the bandanas. Right? You know, yeah. you got to get one, get four. Yeah. Four turn into eight. <laughs> 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 Who the nigga with the cranberry bandana on? Did Man. you ever study or bedazzle him? Did you really no, go No, I didn't far? bedazzle him. I didn't go that far. You did good. I didn't do the Jahim. I think Jahim might have did that. Oh. And I think I might have stayed I away from that because he, you styled him too. You did style I my op. I didn't op. do the bandanas though. <laughs> styled my op, but <laughs> your op? It, what? he, well, he really word. wasn't. But we came out the same their, time. In their right. minds. Um, but like, when did you know you had an eye for that? Like, did this did this start like as as a as a as a young girl? Like, just be, having super an eye? young, yeah, super young. Um, my aunt Sadie. Uh, who man. is turning 100 next month? Get out of here! Shout out to Aunt Shout Sadie. Out Shout to out to Aunt Sadie. Aunt Sadie, the oh real. I'm girl. trying to see a honey. Are you feeling? Nah, I can't I'm wait going, to tell a nigga. She you know, got I'm a big party. A honey December. bun. I'm out here. I'm a honey. A honey bun. <laughs> yeah. So she has a big party next month in uh, wow. San Francisco. Oh shit. Yep, at the wow. wharf. Yep. So anyway, my aunt Sadie owned a boutique, and I was six years old working in a boutique, like having to separate clothes and run around. That was like my first job, first introducing. First introduction to fashion. Mm -hmm. um, and I got into it really loving fashion, like mm -hmm. brand names, like looking at the labels and learning that. Now I really love style more than labels and names mm -hmm. because I, I realize the difference. I get the difference. 
Yeah, but you was pulling some crazy stuff early. I was doing a little fashion back then. So I did. People don't realize that. I don't know what year we would even. 2000. Come, 2000. That's yes. how long ago that um, I had a you know great relationship, partnership with Chrome Hearts. We, I did a couple of artists. I did you, Usher's uh, Confessions album cover. That's all Chrome Hearts. All that jewelry, all that gold and everything on Confessions, the cover, people don't realize that's all Chrome Hearts, head to toe, always. Wow. You Down still know any, anybody over there? Cause You're like, you know anybody? Because <laughs> that oh. nigga be paying full rate. Full <laughs> price. You know what? They never discount it. No. No, they, they'll they give you something no. if you wear it on the Grammys maybe, but no. I mean, I was just looking at a performance from the VMAs that I did. I don't know what year that was, but full chrome hearts. I think he got to keep the leather pants. <laughs> like, they really, they don't do it. And I kind of like that. It doesn't water their brand down. They make it hard to get. Hmm. I appreciate that. That's cool. Was, so was it hard for you breaking into the the profe- the the entertainment space in terms of getting getting your super style on people. hard okay well let me tell you the way this thing started it was very funny come on take it back to the bay I gotta take come on, the, it come wasn't on. the bay it wasn't the bay it I didn't start in the bay no because I came wanna, here you don't want to start everything in the bay <laughs> I know you think it all started it started in the bay because I was born in the bay yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you will no but I got here I went to the fashion institute um. Down, you nice. know, downtown. I went to Fashion Institute. I wanted to be a merchandise marketing person. I wanted to be a buyer, basically, for all the stores. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So I learned the kind of the theory and the concept of what people look for when they buy things, how to price items, how to do displays, how to run a store, a boutique, whatever. And then I had a friend named Todd. Todd worked for Biv 10, mm-hmm. Michael Bivens, mm-hmm. and he had just started his label at Motown. And he had a group coming out, and he was like, I need you to fix my group. Get them right. And I was like, get them right? What do I do? Get them right? So he was like, the girls, I want them to look like you. Just get them, make them all have flavor like you. And I was like, what does that mean? You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you get dressed, you don't really think about what your image. I didn't have an image. I didn't know. So it was called Subway in 702. 702. So my first my first official video was Subway, This Little Game We Play. Oh, wow. That's how old. <laughs> Love that record. <laughs> I'm really dating myself. Um, so from there, I did not know what I was doing. I, I, you know, hi, sorry, Michael. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't even know what to charge. Okay. They were but like, it what? seems like you, kind of, like, I didn't know. It seems like at least you had some schooling under your belt. Right, going yeah, to fit I them. did. You know well, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, no, I had, I knew color theory. I knew what colors, you know, what, com- like people are granimals, you know, they match, match, match. Like, oh, you're going to wear black, you're going to wear white, like this. But I knew that you can wear gray and you can put blue and you can do this, you know, you can add a little pumpkin and put a little, you know, how you can play with colors. And um, that I knew, but I didn't know how to pull clothes. I didn't know the first of how you acquire the clothes. Gotcha. Right. And, uh, and and the another really good point to be known is that designers were not giving y'all clothes. Right. No, no, no. Right. They didn't want to give you guys clothes. Like, I'd have to be like, no, nah, this is actually for Nat King Cole. Like, you know, <laughs> make, like, they did not care, like, that I'm pulling for Usher or Tank or uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Powell and all those, mm. all of my early clients. They were looking at me like, who we've never, uh, you know, they hadn't heard of any of you right. guys yet. So it was really a lot of uh, finesse to make them say, this person's on the up. Like, I used to write letters. Like, my office will tell you, my old assistants, who are now all doing very well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, they'll tell you that I used to have formal letters that had to go out to request the clothes to even get any of the stuff. Yeah, because wow. I knew, I knew y'all had potential. <laughs> I knew I knew I, I was, like, was going to be something. I, I knew you, you was going to be somebody. somebody. I saw yeah. something in you. I swear I did. <laughs> did you did you know because what you said earlier is that, you know, he said he wanted all of the girls to look like you. Yeah. Did you know that you had a thing? Like did you know that you were fly or you were just kind of like I don't even think I was fly. You okay. know what it is? Fly is such a culmination of things. Mm-hmm. It's a demeanor, it's an aura, it's um it's kind of how you speak, how you move. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I can come and hang out with you guys and sit in a room, be a fly on the wall and afterwards, and we'll chop it up and crack up about everybody. Not all girls can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm like a, a, a boy girl. Like, mm-hmm. no, I'm not no man. I know y'all want to say, 
I knew she was a man. Right. No, I'm kidding. But no, but seriously, I can hang with the fellas and like mm-hmm. crack up and have a good time. Um, so I had a thing. It's a je ne sais quoi. It's a thing. It's a thing. It wasn't always about style or fashion. Mm-hmm. So that's where people get it confused. They think, I'll go in Gucci and I'll get the whole new mannequin look that just fresh off the runway and mm-hmm. I will have that thing. And you may or may not. You that know what I mean? That was for a second. Think about it. Tank was the mannequin for a minute. You were you used to wear all that head to toe? I mean, when I got a little money, I was like, just give me that. Give me that whole <laughs> <laughs> I need all of that. <laughs> And the clips yeah. that hold it on. Give me, oh. yeah, him, whatever it does doing. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I know, because, I know. Because, I mean, because you got to think, like me as a kid, you know, you know, I didn't grow up in anything fashionable. Sure. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I didn't, I mean, I was in Milwaukee. Uh, you know, my clothes were hand-me-downs or from, you know, from the discount mart or from rummage sales. You know what I'm saying? That stuff too it's, now. It, well, now, you know what I'm That's saying? So, Good. but, we and then know. even getting older, moving to Maryland and finally making a little money in the church and stuff like that, like mm-hmm. I would like venture off into like Kenneth Cole. Like, and, oh. yeah. and yeah, yeah. but then, but, but, but the suit was still oak tree. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Cause yeah, I still yeah, needed yeah. The, the discount suit. You know what I'm saying? You get the suit for ninety nine dollars. Oak tree man. Oak tree, ninety nine dollars. You tree. had a lot of two, potential two as a young person. <laughs> Listen, I know oak tree with a hold on, oak tree suit with the with the Kenneth Cole shoe, and then I top it off with a Versace tie. He'll appreciate this. I used to work at Oak Tree, so like, I, oh, that's what I'm talking about. And BCBG. He stay a, shout now Oak Tree. This is a funny. Come shit on ever. now. I used to work at the one in the uh, where where Nordstrom was in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. That big. Uh, they closed now, Nordstrom. But yeah, on Powell, that whole thing. I worked in it. Wow. So that was my, you know, and that was church kind of style, which is different yeah, from yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, it was very, way very different so. from, you know, you know, street the, style. Street or, and entertainment yeah. style. Like, I didn't even know what that was. Or he how was you good get, and ancient. Like, where do you get that good stuff from? Good and ancient. Until I went on the road with Genuine. Uh-oh. And then, you know, that really introduced me to the silk shirt. Oh, yeah. You know, because yeah. Genuine bought all the silkies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my other client. Oh, I know. <laughs> but one thing about G, I don't care what you bring him from the designers. He gonna be like, well, put the Batman collar on it. She be like, <laughs> I should be like, but wait. He <laughs> wants you to add wait, 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 wait. it. Wait, 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 wait. it to yeah, them? no, he didn't want nothing. Run- no, 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 no. If he saw it in like GQ, he'd be like, no, that shit wrong. He wanted to straight up Gordon Gartrell at all times. Yes. Period. But there's, but there's, it's, it's. So when you say that, right? Hmm. There's an art to that as well because there has to be a separation. Individuality, yes. There has, especially in entertainment. Yeah, mm-hmm. we are not supposed to look like your neighbor. That's true. Yeah, but sometimes, let me tell you this: sometimes less is more. For sure. For sure. Agreed. Agreed. And that's when sometimes niggas like him take their shirt off because, like you said, less is more. I just give up. Like, right? Get it then. Fuck it. I don't like. I ain't sure about this. I don't outfit. need to go to the We use the shirts. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm come out here with the one I was born with. <laughs> But we have to have separation. Yeah, we have true. to have individuality in order for somebody to want to buy into you. Yeah. Yes and no. Let me tell you what I say. Some of my favorite fashion style icons are like James Dean. Mm. There's like classic. I keep I can't say this enough. But that nigga wasn't singing. I true, but right? he was like, but but he, he was, was cold, he was cold actor, but well, he wasn't singing. But he was what women look it's not about just what you do. It's about, I don't, it's about being a, this is the thing. You want to make men want to be like you Mm -hmm. and you want women want to lay down with you. That's what the goal, whenever I'm styling an artist or I get a client, I think about what the demographic is. Who are we trying to appeal to? So we want women to want you. And we want men to want to be like you. For sure. That's how you create a strong image. If if it's a little questionable and women want to wear what you have on, we might have a problem a little bit. So you couldn't have styled Prince? <laughs> no. I'm, but see, I'm also a Michael Jackson person. So, it, you know, growing up in Oakland, 
you were Prince or you were Michael Jackson. My mother okay. loved Prince, mm -hmm. but I was MJ to the bone. Like it, it was like a battle. You know what I mean? How like they battle over over like whatever over ball players and stuff. Oh no 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 no! You that know. Prince Michael Jackson. Thing it was, was Prince very or Michael serious. Jackson. Like yeah. you had to you had to choose a team. Yeah, yeah. pick a side. No, my mother and my father. My yeah. father was Michael Jackson. My mm -hmm. mother was Prince. Mm -hmm. My oh, mother was Prince yeah. too. Yeah, my mother was yeah. Prince. And he used to be Ooh, ah, all in my. The it was only light skin, the only light skin man my mother ever loved. Who yeah. really? What? Yeah. She wasn't fucking with nothing light skin. She's like, <laughs> my mother be like, get it out. Only Prince. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I was like Prince. Yeah. Yeah. All of them? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Facts. Jackson. Facts. Nah, Prince. So I, I get it. You're, you're absolutely right. You had to make, a, you had to, man, you had to pick a struggle yeah. when I was growing up. So I was Michael Jackson because then he was like, I don't know what he, but he still had curly hair and baby hair and stuff. But it was still know. not normal. It was right? still It's still not normal. He like, still wasn't wearing normal clothes at a, at a point. Like nah, got, that man had on a car. First of all, Mike had on, Mike had rosy cheeks. <clears throat> he was out here putting. I mean, your cheeks and Mike cheeks right now. Talk like, about, hey, after off the wall, <laughs> y'all gonna see these cheeks. After off the wall, Mike went a, somewhere else. He did have on that yellow cardigan. Come on, y'all remember come on. yellow cardigan? The yellow cardigan picture. That, his cheeks were rosy. That shit ain't normal. We right. selling something. True. Yeah. True. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I never thought, I, like, don't hurt my life because I love. Him. <laughs> no, no, but it, but he was an entertainer. That's though. true, though. That's right? right. Like actors can get off the whole, you know, aesthetic of oh, I'm every man. Yeah, yeah. But a, a musician has to get off. I am the man. Yeah, I'm I'm him. Yeah. So what separates me and makes me him? That's yeah. true. So to me, when when artists do you know certain things that maybe I don't agree with. And it's something I might not have worn, mm -hmm. but I'm like, okay, I get it. That's, you know, you, you're getting your shit off. I struggle with that. You know what I mean? I struggle with it because I'm super, I am, I'm probably a little boring in the sense that I really like classic things because I want to be able to look at a photo of anything that I either worked on or that I've worn mm -hmm. and look at it 10 years from now and not hate it. And I hate it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like, remember them big old bell bottoms? Right. Like, I, you know what I mean? No, I don't no, I want, I don't follow the trend of what, I try to wear just kind of classic. I keep it really, really safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I mean, there are very adventurous stylists, and they be like, "Just cut the bottom of your booty out. It's okay." Yeah. I be like, "No, that's not," because I know that you're gonna look back at it and regret it. Yeah, right, so right, if right. you know, sometimes less is more, and and classic, it just transcends time. Do you have a regrettable? I got a lot of them. Listen, I will say right here. Where's the camera? I me. am not the fashion icon. I don't, uh, I'm not without flaw in that regard. I have, do I have great style and taste? Yes, but sometimes it's in hindsight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've messed up. I've definitely messed up on a few. Not that many. But you, like, but you have to though. Yeah. You, you have to. to it, and yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, you you say that you're not, but I, I believe that you are. Yeah. Thank you. You know yeah, what? Hold on. You know what I mean? Since we said. Oh, you, what, about to, you about to pull what, up a fit? What, what we what, not. What, what you about to pull up? I don't know. Let me think. Let me think of something like, real look at, bad. Look at my phone. Do, do, like Jeopardy Where's music. <laughs> you know, because she said she, she says she's not, right? So okay, okay. And she says she's not a fashion icon. I just want to just go down the list here. Um, Lauren Hill, Wyclef Jean, mm. Beyonce. Yeah. Jay-Z. Yeah. Aretha Franklin. Patti LaBelle. Shaka Khan. <laughs> Sierra. H-Town. <laughs> Janelle Monet, Fuji's. Aaliyah, Tony Braxton, Mary J. Blige, Timbaland, Tweet, Brian McKnight, Blue Cantrell, Jim Crow, Usher, Music Soul Child, Jazzy Faye, Ashanti, Nas, Genuine, Raheem Devon, Drew Hill, Latoya Luckett, Next, Chris Brown, this is Chris crazy. Tucker, Maxwell, Lloyd, Anthony Hamilton, Sam Salter, Something for the People, Jesse Powell, Life yeah. Jennings, Plies, oh, that's great. Kevin Gates, Omaria, Sammy, Glenn Lewis, Cardinal, Offishaw? Yeah, yeah, Cardinal, Cardinal. Offishaw. Yeah, Cardinal yeah. Offishaw. Yeah, yeah, the homie you. from Toronto. That's yeah. my guy. Tank, hmm? Gerald Levert, Joe, Jonte Austin, 702, Pharrell, Dr. Dre, T.I., wow. Jagged Edge, Guru, Mace, Silk, Sugar Free, and huh. more. Huh. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Sugar huh. Free in here. Sugar <laughs> Free? Yeah. Sugar yeah. Free is yeah. my dude. Wait, but can I tell you the one person I didn't hear in that list, and it's very important, I will shout him out right now because he's my favorite 
client, one of them. Mm-hmm. Lloyd. Oh, I Lloyd. did say Lloyd. Oh, you did say Lloyd? Because yeah. Lloyd is my guy. I said Lloyd. I love Lloyd. I love Lloyd. Yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd is awesome. such a yeah. humble, yeah. such a great kid. Listen, grateful. Oh, yeah. We are Lloyd fans here. Oh, yes. Money 100%. Podcast. Lloyd, I love you. Lloyd knows. And he's is he Capricorn? And he's a Capricorn. I knew it. So, yep. you know, this is not... This is not normal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Your, your, your client listing and the people saying, hey, what, whatever she's doing, I need that. Right. That's not normal. That's true. Right. Like, that's just, like, okay, maybe four or five of these referrals. Yeah, fact. Outside of that, it just becomes what you do. We need Tamika. We need Tamika. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Icon. But you know what I think? I think, too, it's not just the style. Mm hmm. It's the energy because yeah. I'm going to, if you have a new artist, let's say, and you want that person to get relaxed into their position and you want them to know how to actually, I'm probably more of like, um, more than a style person. I'm kind of more of etiquette. Mm. I'm kind of, it's kind of an etiquette thing. It's kind of, um, come on now, when you had that on, you're supposed to sit like this because you don't care. Because this is something I would say. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. you know what I'm right, saying? I right, say, you right. put that on and you grab your hat when you're singing and you need to. It's lifestyle too. It's, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, showing yeah. the, it's kind yeah. of choreography, yeah, but not yeah. in the dance sense. Because mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. I'm not a dancer. But you know what I mean? So I kind of give swagger. Like, yeah. it's a swagger yeah. coach, huh? Yeah. That's what I think. Maybe I'll change. I'm sorry. I have to change, <laughs> change my title. I'm Slash like, swag coach. No, really. No, for real. Because listen, I, when you put on certain shit, it's, you got to yeah, act different. You feel a and I yeah. always say, don't let that thing wear you. You're wearing it. Mm-hmm. So if you got it on, don't just have your sleeves like, and I have on the new Gucci collection from the. Uh, <laughs> I got Pharrell's new runway. No, dude, don't let it. You got to wear it. Yeah, yeah, Throw yeah. it on. Yeah. And your attitude has to match the garment. Yeah. Or I'm going to change. I'm going to be like, you can't wear that because you ain't ready. <laughs> that, that's flyer than you right yeah, now. Yeah, no, yeah. the clothes can't be flyer than you. You got to be the fly one. You it's your demeanor. It's is who what you're giving. You got to be able to pull it off. But then you also can't be too extra. So mm-hmm. I, it's always like a right, right. Yeah, you got to find a balance. It's a balance. It's a balance. Right. But that's like, that's why. Yeah, it's a balance. You're hired for these jobs because yeah. people understand that you know the balance. Then I got and unhired. You How did you get unhired? Well, why, you, you know, fire me. I didn't hire and fire <laughs> nobody. Wait a minute, hold on. I never hired and fired anybody. That's right. I didn't have that oh, kind of power. Did you find that? I forgot what happened. <laughs> Jomo probably fired you. You and Jomo used to argue like cats. Jomo ain't never. Jomo, oh, Jomo, yeah. Hey, they Jomo never come, fired me. Jomo come life. walking in with that coffee. Like, what the fuck is all of this? Yeah, <laughs> Tamika, what the fuck <laughs> is all of this? Yes, he would. <laughs> and that I, I was an over budget queen. Take not wearing all this shit. I saw more for you people. I did. I was like, he deserves Chrome Hearts. What do you mean? Hey, Tamika brought it. His boy, have you not, wait, that's, you the, see this that's the first album? That's the first album. That was the first every, album. His second Chrome video. Hearts. Oh, yeah, I'll fire you too, Tamika. Ask Lloyd with I'm his sorry. ass hat on. His second video. <laughs> yeah, I used to throw I, that if, if shit If Tank on. is my new artist, yeah. I'm firing you too, Tamika. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you got a, a $25,000 belt? He had the same voice. He had the yeah, same yeah, voice. Yeah, I get it. I you get see? It. He had the same ability. Right. Yeah. So, okay. You saw the future. I did see the future. I promise yeah. you. Yeah. Like, I, if, if you bring me an artist and I know that artist is mediocre, I'm mm-hmm. definitely not using all my contacts on that person. I'm sorry. No offense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm no, not going to go in and be pulling from fair. Gucci and every, you know, that's and fair. getting close from everywhere and putting my credit cards on the line because that's what I used to do. There was a lot. Come on, speak I, on that. Speak on the business side uh, of that. Come on, because because we have aspiring stylists, sure. swag icons mm-hmm. that are watching this uh-huh. and haven't become that yet, and they're trying to figure out how to get how there. How to do it. Let's yeah. talk about the business side of that. You need some credit cards. You need... What do you, what do you need? What you need to get in this game? It's very relationship-based. Yeah. Okay. In terms of what stores you can pull from, what... I mean, my artists have burned a lot of bridges for me, by the way. Yeah. You know, I know what I mean? Talking about. Yeah. I have yeah. been on set. I've done, you know, the rapper and all his homeboys in the click. I won't say any names. And they come in, all their homeboys who are not signed to anybody. Shit. Right. <laughs> you know? Rummaging through the club. Rummaging yeah. The oh, club. taking the Cartier frames. You want them because they like them. And I'm like, where did those $1,500? Oh, guess who has to eat it? Right. Because you can't right. pinpoint who took them. 
Mm. But you know it's one of those guys. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? I used to get messed up. I used to get burned, but I was never in it for the money. Mm -hmm. I really had a passion for it. I really love the final outcome. I love to see it all come together. You know what I mean? Like all the pulling, all the days of running around and trying to find the size 43. And we, God, you can't get to 43. I need the black ones because they go with the, and going through all of that. And then actually seeing the actual day of the video and all the fire and all the pyro and stuff happening, I'd be like, this is why I do this. Yeah. I love, love, love what I do. I love what, what I did. I'm kind of retired, sort of, semi. So like where a lot of the, like, mm -hmm. explain to them like the, the, the pulls that are pulled and then returned. Because I think people still don't realize that that even red carpets and all oh. of these things, like yeah, that, yeah. those clothes ain't in the closet. Like, a lot of it, a lot of it's very, very, very much borrowed. Very much borrowed. Very much borrowed. And you got to have either the relationship. It's like a wedding day. Or some money right. to put something up. Something borrowed, right. something yeah. blue. Right. Yeah. And you had the, yeah, the relationships. <laughs> or some money to put up. And <clears throat> the money to put up. Because even with pools, because obviously I got friends that are stylists as well. Like, there's a there's a, a fee. A fee. Yeah. That comes yeah, along so, with that too. So there are stores that you can go to. That's, again, new stylists, if I could say anything to you, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because every every artist and every client isn't worth you burning, you know, and going through all these different stores and these relationships. So, yeah, you got to be kind of mindful. Don't go crazy on mm -hmm. everybody. I think stylists, to see a stylist, I don't even like to call myself that anymore because it's, it's a kind of um, watered down term. You know, everybody's a stylist. Everybody's not a stylist. Well, I mean, they call themselves it. So, yeah. you know, if yeah, they, but, if they but, worked at J. Crew for three days, but they'd be like, you know, I'm not, a stylist. Like, everybody's not a stylist. Just like everybody says they're an artist or everybody says that they're a rapper or yeah. everybody says, you can say whatever you want to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the proof is in, in that, that, that list when, when, when the papers come out. Yeah. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and, and the budgets come out. There are people who are going to get those budgets. Right. To do those things for these people that I just named. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like Drake said, if you don't tell me your model, if you ain't been in vogue. Right. Like there are levels. No, right. but then also, also having like vision boards. People, people also <laughs> think like, oh, I'm just going to come and say I'm a stylist because I know how to get dressed. Yeah, no. But can they also put it together for someone to see it? I'll Their tell presentation. you something. In order to get the job, you're going to laugh. To work with Usher, I had to do a presentation mm -hmm. at his label, you know, Falana. Shout out to Falana Williams. I had to come with like boards. I had like fabric swatches and sketches. Like literally, I had to put together a serious presentation. Well, it makes sense though. Because it's like it worked out. I you know yeah. Because it's like what is I mean what is the audition for that? Yes, you know what right. I'm saying? When you get to right. that level of an artist, yeah, it's like an, uh, that level of an artist. They want to see, you know, not so much so what you've done because what you've done is definitely going to get you in the room. Yeah, but they want to see what exactly can you do? What for are you going to do for that for artist? Me. Just yeah. for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. something that nobody else has done or can do. Yeah. Somewhere in one special. of my storages, I <laughs> still have those original, because they brought me in after he did, um, I think it was Pop Your Collar. Mm -hmm. And somebody knew that you needed to, I needed to shake things up and kind of give it an edge, <clears throat> which is obviously what it has now. Um, and I think my first job was You Got It Bad, probably my first video mm -hmm. was you got, you got It Bad. And I wanted, again, that was the, the two things that I wanted to marry. <laughs> no pun but the great. two things yeah. that I wanted to put together was women to want him and men to want to be like him mm -hmm. you know so that was you got it bad where you tsh, 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 ripping it you know yep. 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 yep yep so you need a certain certain sex appeal that had to happen and a certain masculine vibe had to happen too because it's a it's a fine line because with art with you male artists it's a fine line from feminine to masculine. You yes. guys have to really know you're riding a line. And today, I guess it doesn't matter because this is a very fluid world we're in. But yeah, you can identify as a lot of things. Anything. You could be, I'm a giraffe. I'd be like, well, shit, I didn't learn it. What a, I had to go back yeah, to my book. Yeah. Like, How do I style a giraffe? What do I do uh, with a giraffe? Uh, yeah. yeah, so you know what I mean? It's different now, but just I'm old school. You are old school because I remember I saw you one time. 
I can't remember what I had oh, on. Oh shit, what I say? I can't remember oh, what I had on. I look but like, I, but mm. I was on my I was on my Miami Vice early. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was the suit. It was the 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 it was the cut off the the pant was cut off right at the ankle. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? Low for no socks. She's like, that's that trendy. She said, you gotta put some damn socks on. You, gotta, <laughs> you know what? Because I don't follow trends. That ankle right, right. Because guess what? Well, I don't see your ankle beat. Put Let me you, ask you this: Is that style on. gone? Have no. you seen? It's kind of gone. What's that going? Dude still got no socks on and little short pants on. Little short pants on? No, I don't think nobody I don't wearing like those. Them damn pedal pushers on y'all. Like, I'm sorry, I don't like. Uh, it. I ain't with it. Sorry, I ain't with it. I've, I do the no sock thing a lot. I mean, I'm okay with I no like socks. socks. I'm okay with but no socks, but I it's prefer. preference. Yeah, I think it's it, preference. but it also like it's as we go back like to genuine. It's it's how you own a thing, right? Like I watched Genuine own some hush shit. puppies oh. and a and a Jean West silk silver shirt. Wait a minute! Own In his it. defense, it's for dancing. No, it no, was no, no. <laughs> um, it's not a defense thing because he don't need defending. No, he he'll doesn't. tell you. Oh, I will put that shit on. Yeah. And he and he'll go out there and he'll rock sixty thousand people. <laughs> oh, we so argue. And so they will that. not know the difference, right? <laughs> Because that man Genuine went to work. Well, first of all, if he's in Kentucky, yeah. they don't know. <laughs> yep. Man. It depends. I love it's it not I'm just like... Kentucky. Okay. Right? We were Dallas. We, we were in Houston. <laughs> we were in major cities with these silkies Macon. on. Because if he had one was, on, I had one on. It was too. falling out. <laughs> if he had one on, I it had was falling one out. out. It was the Genuine man, is though. Bomb. For... Genuine was God, the man. Him. He yeah. is. So it was just yeah. like, I remember, I remember, it, it had to be Dallas. Dallas I hooked or him Houston. up with his wife, by the way. He, too. Did, oh, wow. Remember had Genuine had the swirly? Swirl right to, to swirl. That ain't yeah. fair. See, now that's where you get above my pay grade. I don't do the hair stuff. So I don't know. I saw a grown man <laughs> with the, with the genuine thing. swirly swirl. What was the swirly swirl? It was just it was like the facial hair. Yeah, like, he had yeah, like cut. A he had thing. to cut into he like cut a little, into it, yeah. little, little, little squiggly. Yeah, sure. And a little swiggly. A, a nigga had to, and that's when it was like, okay. Michael so, Jackson had a drop curl. <clears throat> He had the drop curl. Michael Jackson had the little. I'm going back to your guy because I know that's who you That's your guy. That's your guy. I ain't going to do too much on Michael Jackson. (laughs) I ain't going to do too much on Michael Jackson. He got the drop curl. Not the drop curl. You know what I mean? He did. I had it too. That's what's so sad. (laughs) Shit. You're right. It was a little fluid going on because I had it too. I had to go and get that curl too. And and the reason I reference Genuine is because I think like even as we say genuine, who is my brother? I don't think he's Mind he's you. crazy in terms of style. Yeah. But I think he was such an amazing artist that that part of it didn't really matter mm-hmm. for him because he was that amazing of an artist. No, but, but he had a you, vision. He knew what he wanted. Course, he yeah, knew yeah. exactly. No, he knew exactly. When he walked in, no, 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 give me the green. I'm like, you going to wear the green? The green leather? Okay. <laughs> Do you think, though, that artists have been, artists, artists have been hurt you know what I mean? In terms of their ability to connect to an audience because their styling wasn't right. 100%. I have to say this. <clears throat> I firmly believe that success as an artist is 40% talent, 40, okay. low. Okay, 40. 60% imagery, style. Because people fall in love with you as a as a, a thing first. An entity. Yeah. The the talent and stuff, of course, is what sustains you and mm-hmm. will keep you there. But you have to have the right imaging. Mm-hmm. You have to have the right imaging. And I, I just I'll stand behind that, you know, and I'm sure artists and labels will argue, I'm like, no, he can sing, no. he can play the piano in the I banjo. I promise you they won't right now in twenty twenty four, yeah. They are not going to argue with you. They will argue because, because I even I have gone to labels now. I'm looking at Artists now and today, they need imaging so bad. Yeah, but I'll say it like this: they are, they are definitely looking for a certain aesthetic. Yeah, that is completely like now. It used to be a time where you used to be able to separate the artists from the other people that were in attendance. Mm, mm. No, you can't. it used to be a time. No, but. Now that the look, the the rap look, the rap street look is, I don't know who that is. Right. right. I don't know who I they are. I have no idea who that is. I don't know which one. Right. But it's, it's, for some reason, that aesthetic is driving the marketplace. Yeah. Right. Literally, 
a hundred miles an hour. I don't even know what I would do if they called me and say, I need you to do any of the littles and all those different rap. I'd be like, ooh, I don't know what to put on them. I just go in my closet and just bring them some shit. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be like, I got something I know. I don't know what to do. It's it's like, if, and everybody's trying to find a, 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 the separation. I think like a guy like Travis Scott mm-hmm. has figured out the separation. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and it's subtle, but it's so it's different. But I mean, but you you also will. My son's like, I want an earring in my nose. I'm like, which rapper? I had to think like, which one of y'all got an earring in y'all nose? He copying? No, you can't get that. But what what happens with, like you said, a, a Travis Scott, right, or a Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick Lamar, uh-huh. like <clears throat> they also separate themselves mm-hmm. by finding, you know what I mean, by being like, you know what, I'm not just gonna buy this Montclair puff jacket, right, yep. and right. these, you know, <clears throat> these purple jeans and sag them, yep. and be like everybody else. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to actually go and find what my style is. Yeah. Like you said, I'm going to go in and now cover this 60%. Because I got my talent. Right. Is that what they're doing? Well, I think that Kendrick, Kendrick definitely for sure. Yeah. But I'm saying, I think guys now are just, they have huge budgets because they got money and stuff. So they just go, like, I'm going to Louis Vuitton. I'm just going to buy all of Pharrell's new stuff right. and get the Tim's and da 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 And I'm going to go to Gucci and get all the new. They just want the new. <clears throat> they don't care if it's style. I think it's just designer but Put I think that's the I think that's the pack. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, but I is think it? The, I think I think that's the pack. Yeah. But I think the guys that are above that pack mm-hmm. from R and B or mm. or hip hop or whatever mm-hmm. are still separating themselves. Yeah. Good. They're still separating themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good. Like it just in my opinion. Good. Like, no, no, opinion, I agree because I, you're not gonna see anybody with what Beyonce has on. No. No, you're not gonna when you go see Beyonce and show wherever yeah. you pull you're up on Beyonce, Beyonce, you're gonna see Beyonce. And if you Nobody's see anybody with it on, they're trying to copy her. Oh, right. this, this, Which absolutely. I love. They took yeah. a picture somewhere. So can you make that? They like yeah. make anything close. Yeah. Now she's you're, definitely doing original. Like, what, what would be your what would be your advice to an artist with selecting a stylist hmm. sitting on the other side? Yeah. Of it. I would tell an artist to interview a couple of people and number one, see if you match energies. Mm -hmm. Because if she comes in and she's like, in my former life, I was- Hysterical. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? If they're not, if you don't have the same vibe, Mm -hmm. y'all don't even like the same music, Mm. that's probably not your person. You need a person that understands your music. Because what I always do, I sit down with a client and I'll say, tell me what you don't like. Okay. What will you, what colors do you hate? What will you never wear? That's what I ask because that eliminates a whole category. Right. Then I don't have yeah. to waste my time in the store picking out gray sure. and you hate gray. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> You're never yeah. going to wear gray. Mm-hmm. So then why did I pull all this gray stuff? Mm-hmm. So you ask them what they don't. You got to learn the mind of the client. And so I would tell a, a, an artist who's trying to choose a stylist, make sure she understands who you are and what mm-hmm. you're trying to convey because she needs to want, I always say, send me the music. Anytime that's somebody, a, that's a big part. Yeah, yeah they call yeah, me and yeah. they say, hey, "I want you to do." I got this new girl. She's that. I'd be like, "Send me her send music." Me music. Yeah. yeah, and let me listen to it. And I, if I can close my eyes and say, "I get it," she's like Megan Trainer, or she wants to do Adele. She's trying to be, you know. And then I can see it. Then I can visualize. Then I say, you know, what are her sizes? Then I think about what I'm gonna. You build it. Styling is is more. Um, it's mental because you got to think. You're trying to sell this concept and this image to the masses that's what we're we're hoping to make some money right yeah, right yeah so um that's you know there's, there's a lot more into it it's not just you like clothes and you you got relationships at bottega and you can run and go get all the stuff yeah but bottega may not even be his style right he shouldn't have on one thing bottega i don't care if the manager's your cousin mm-hmm. right you know what i mean right that ain't his style it's conservative it's you know that's not his look so yeah, that's that's what's really important. It's not about designer. It's about understanding so, the image and the body type. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That matters. I think that's the biggest part. Like an artist has to has to understand, like has to be understood. They also got to understand themselves too. This is a well, yeah. It starts time. there too because I mean, yeah. I'll take it from me. Like I didn't know what I was supposed to look like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was yeah. a I was a cross between. In terms of talent, I was a cross between Brian Knight and R. Kelly and Babyface. Sure. So all all three different spectrums 
of a of a of a, of a style. You know what I mean? Right. Of a yeah. style conversation. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I didn't know. Who, I didn't know who I was. Yeah. yeah. So you guys were like, you guys were fostering, you know, those moments for me so that I could identify something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or try to. So it took me a minute after that. Yeah. After Jay exactly. burned my burn all my stuff in my closet <laughs> at one time. <clears throat> Because I love Zara, and I think <clears throat> uh, Zara was very dear to me. I love them. I love no, I, Zara. I, no, I loved. So I you don't love them anymore? No, no. I they just not. get tricky for me. I Really? Yeah, I love because them. I don't think like, That's easy. The, the cut of things. I had a, oh, yeah. just I had a relationship yeah. with Zara that was unmatched. Zara needs to hire a black designer. There we go. And that <laughs> way you can marry the two, you know, the European stuff. Because But in the beginning, they had it. They, yeah. In the beginning, that boy was red carpet out. You kidding me, Zara? Yeah. Zara. I'm like, so you gonna you gonna Zara. you gonna wear that to Zara. the Transformers? Hey, I remember, <laughs> I remember red carpet. <laughs> Let him live. Don't do that. I remember I was in live <laughs> with a couple Zara pieces so on. Like, yeah, yeah. And I walked up on Brian, and Brian had a Zara piece. I you said, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> Brian can't. Uh, he don't see why he can fit Zara. You know what I mean? Because it's not cut. You, Brian's smaller th then. They they make two X. You know what? We're gonna get out of there. Mm. Shout out to Brian. Shout out to Brian because that's my brother. <laughs> Whatever, that's my dude. I, we looked at each other because nobody was in Zara at that time, and I was like, you know, he's like, nigga, stay out my store, nigga. I was like, <laughs> stay out. store. A nigga claiming Zara. Hey, he was claiming Zara, like, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Hey. He didn't know everybody. And then, like, I, and then, like, I just stayed on it a few she years too long. So and Jay easy. was like, "I think if we're gonna go to the next level, we gotta start with your styling and your image." And I'm like, "I'm all ears." I'm like, "Yeah, Jay, lead the way. Like, show me where I need to be." He walks in the closet. He's like, "We yeah. should, we should, we should burn all of this." <laughs> Burn all of the, who said who? <laughs> oh, you said we should, that? We should, we should burn all you did of this. Not. I, said, I was like, that's where we started. You said burn all of this. That's where we started. I was like, yeah, that's everything. Yeah, we should burn it. <laughs> because we go back to, we go back to, right, the imagery side of it. Mm -hmm. And in my, this is just my opinion. And yeah. I appreciated my brother for listening to me in that space because he already was, he was tank. It wasn't like I was inheriting something that. Right. Oh, nigga, this is just terrible. You got to fit. No, it's just like, no. Okay, what are the little things that, what are the tweaks that we can make for the places that we're trying to go? Mm -hmm. Right? Because you can't, it's just, you know, this from a, from a style standpoint, you can't wear the same outfit to different places. Some places, you know, hey, if I'm, if I'm invited to the White House, I got to get right, White House ready. Yeah. Code right? switch. You got to yeah. code switch. Hey, it That's is right. what it is. That's right. So we were trying to elevate R&B music for him. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to do it with everybody else. That, yeah. that, that's, that wasn't our plan. It wasn't like, oh, well, R&B is this. So we, no, I'm not telling y'all what to do. Right. We have business together. We're yeah. partners in our business. He came up with the name R&B Money. I said, okay, listen. Okay, so if we R&B Money, it got to look like it. Got to yeah. look like it. It got to feel like yeah. it. Yeah. That's what I said about my show. They wouldn't let me, oh, yeah. But You're right. The, these are the things that we have to do to get to the places where we're trying to go to. And because sometimes it's not just about the talent mm -hmm. yeah. or the music. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the surrounding things that, that propel those things. Yep. Yeah. And propel that thing. Yeah. So now everybody now says, oh, well, now that I think you're fresh, you're talented as hell. <laughs> By the way, you can sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you can sing. <laughs> like, Nick, you couldn't right. hear that I could sing that many right. years ago? This yeah. is tank. But... I was literally looking at it from a consumer standpoint. Yeah. yeah. What do I see when I see him? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What do I see when I see her? Or what? That's how I've always operated in business. Yeah. You like artist development. You get it. That's where we all come from. That's where we that's all where we come, come from. from. Yeah. yeah. I think it's sometimes though we, we forget about that part. Yeah. Don't you think labels and everybody should bring that back? Absolutely. Uh, well, they should bring it back, but it all depends on the business that they're in. Right? Yeah. If they're in the business of of building career artists, then yes, for sure. But if I they're just in the business. I literally sent my resume around trying to get a job doing, because I wanted to bring it back, like Motown but, used to have. But now they're just and they in look the, at me like, what? They're just in the business of selling music a piece at a time. Yeah. Right. So the artist technically doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. The development of the artist technically doesn't, doesn't matter, matter because right. they're getting hot off the phone. Yeah. 
to get the, the only to real talk. option, honestly, is to create it and then deliver it. Hundred percent. That's. I mean, honestly, I mean, 100%. because I understand your mindset of like, yeah, I send it to these labels, so I, because there's a check involved in that, and it and it keeps it going while you while you're doing it. But the truth of the matter is. It's finding and developing it, and then saying, "Hey, you know, we, now you guys got to pay a premium for it." That's true. That's because we because we're here now, and this you see how polished. You remember, remember that word? Yeah, in the yeah. music business, polished was a word. Polished was a word. It was a word. You don't hear it much anymore. It's no, arch- you don't. It's archaic. We don't they'd see like, it much. They'd be like, "Oh, that artist polished." We don't see it much no more. You know what I'm saying? Like we we don't want. Well, no- the face was polished them back in the day. What? <laughs> they were one hundred. Come on, now. L.A. was. They was Buffing not playing. You had to have games. It. Everybody that came out of the machine was amazing. That's a, and that's why that's yeah. a legendary label. Yeah. That's why those artists True. are legendary. Because they yeah, took yeah. that time to develop. Yep. True. Now, it, it, like you said, it's, a, it's just a quicker turnover. Piece at a time. So trying to sell that as I'm just going to come in and work with you guys no. or for you guys within this space, mm. it's They'll give you not going to happen. Yeah. They'll give you a headache. That's yeah, true. They'll give you a headache. It's true. And it's like, <clears throat> as we were speaking to that, like you were just speaking to like the natural migration of, of, of being a stylist and going into the space to where you're actually selling your style. Like he's saying, you, you build it and present it. And so you're actually building, you know what I'm saying, your own label of styling if you mind mm-hmm. don't mind going into yeah, yeah please do please you know do. what what you're what you're yeah, yeah. working on your your endeavor man i've kind of i've kind of deviated from style well not so much i have a clothing brand called eli kish eli kish i like the eli name. kish yeah. and what does my, that mean my son's name backwards kyle ishmael was his name wow he passed That's away dope. so i took his That's name amazing. and i kind of inverted it so all my business endeavors now are dedicated to kyle okay you know, you lose a child, that's where you that's yes, where ma'am. your mind goes. So yes, so I still love style. I still love fashion a little bit, but I love style more than anything. So I have Eli Kish, which is um athleisure and luxury loungewear. So this is like you can, you know, go from the couch to the cabana. You know, if you want to throw it on and you go, you know, from your pool and you say, Let's take a flight and you can throw it on with some shoes and you're cute still. Comfy, cozy clothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm doing animation. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting an animation world. So I'm writing stories. You know, I'm on my second book. I've written two books already. I didn't know that. Come on, shout out the books. I got two books. books. Here I Stand in a Beautiful State. That's my memoir about my life, how I got into styling, et cetera, et cetera. And then I have white bras and 101 style faux pas. Shit. Oh, I, yeah, I'm killing this. Mm. <laughs> it's funny. I talk about lace fronts, yeah. etiquette on planes. Yeah. Don't bring the hot ass thank you for Etiquette on planes. You know. It's oh, all, I love that. Let me tell you something. Be because pissed. Think about, <laughs> yo. You don't eat bring this the, onion sandwich yes. right next to me? <laughs> yes. I talk about I'm that. I to choke you. I will kill you about some curry. That it, what? And guess curry. what? The, the food may taste good to you, but to the passenger, it stinks. Yeah. Or coming into a space and being loud and obnoxious. Yeah. I hate it. It I turns you... It, yeah. Because style is not just what you wear. Yeah, talk about it. It's the manner in which you do things. Yeah. Mm. Your style. That's that's your style of a person. Speak how you it. Just how you move. Yes. So mm. I talk about how you move, your style. So my book, White Bras. So I have that. I did that first. And then I wrote my memoir. Now I'm doing anim- an animated children's book. It's a whole series. That's the dope. Odd Life of Kyle Lyles is yeah. cool. Going to be pop culture heavy, style heavy, mm-hmm. yeah. of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it'll have learning and teachable moments for the kids when they read each episode and each, you know, hopefully it'll be a cartoon. That's what we're working on. That's really dope. Oh, that's great. I'm getting an animation. Yeah, that's really dope. Love we're, that. Uh, yes. I, I mean, we, of course we're going to support you, but we would love Please. to have some of that on, on yeah. our bodies. Yeah. You will. Yeah, some athleisure. Um, some athlete. Because I, yeah. you know, I, I keep athletes. Because that's yeah. athleisure right and there. And then you got your show coming on TV. Oh, uh, you gonna be on TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Lord. come on, come on, come on oh, now. Lord. Come on, with the rosy they, cheeks. They don't let the yeah. cap on yeah. television. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. They don't let the cap on. I am going to be on a show on We TV. I'm I'm just really trying to promote my business. Yeah. yeah. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, um, yeah, it's called uh, Bold and Bougie. We're going on We TV. February 15th, we premiere. Come on now. I'm just nervous because you know when they edit it, you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, right. So I may be go from cool. I mean, you'd be like, she needs some style. I'd be like, damn, I didn't even say it like that. Yeah. So you know, bold and bougie. Bold and bougie. Bold and bougie. 
We TV. We TV. We TV. We TV. Bold and bougie. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, I already know what's going I'm on. I'm so scared. Uh, yeah, because we know it's some bad and bougie. We know it's some bad and bougie. Yeah, but the bold we know it's some acting up on there. I but ain't the twerking. Bold? How about that? I ain't twerking. Well, I, you, that's what all everybody I, does now, so I'm not twerking. You know, you ain't see that fit? Ah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how that works right there. But They're going to find a way to twerk. I don't care what it oh, is. Oh, they, they, yeah, they're. Yeah, I'm about to say, they, you it's not. occurring. I'm not. Yeah, they, they you not. Somebody is. Uh, what? Why? Wouldn't that become a thing? Besides, back in Africa. So I don't know if you. Who's the first twerkologist in America? <laughs> Who do we owe this genre to? That's a great. That's a great question. Because that's a, you know I was gonna say maybe an Adina Howard, but she wasn't twerking. Though. She wasn't. She was just. She was, she was dancing. A freak in the she was morning. Just sexy. Can we sexy with? Can we give it to Uncle Luke? With and the no, first they weren't really twerking. No, they was twerking. No, they was twerking. They was twerking. They was twerking. Oh, they, oh, were, they were? They was, yeah, yeah. Come on, Uncle Luke. Two live, was, the two live crew, two the girls they used to travel with them. Uh, uh, yeah. I used to love Luke that Luke them was saving lives. Yeah, pop that. that. <laughs> pop that. Pop they that. Was, they was turning boys to men. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody tripping at an Uncle Luke party. Come, come we, on all, we all memorized. Hey, we are good. <laughs> I don't know where I was during that yeah, time. He's right there. He's right there. I wasn't there. I swear I wasn't there. I was, I was a mom already. Ain't, ain't they putting a freak Nick, uh, uh documentary out? And you know what? I was already a mom. I wasn't in Atlanta yet. I was styling. I was styling heavy during Freak Nick. I was getting money back then. That's when the budgets made sense. When the budgets made sense. Yeah, huh? the budget. What you, what you got over there, champ? You know, she's been around a lot of music a long time, yeah. a lot of artists, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I just feel like, you know, in her journeys. Yeah, what you think? Of, of, of putting that shit on. Uh-huh. And putting that shit on people. Yeah, you gotta have some music to play while you're doing that. She's, uh. <laughs> she's, she's found some favorites. Uh, <laughs> so, here on the Army Money Podcast, we like to. We like to ask those questions. Oh. Tamika Hushore. Five, yeah. your top five, top five, your top five R and B singers, R and B songs. Yeah, I wanna know, oh, we wanna know. who's got the clothes. <laughs> Put up on the show. Y'all share a birthday. Tamika. Sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. All the chocolate. Okay. (laughs) Who is your top five R&B singers? All time. All time. Male and female or just male? No, no. no, no, You can mix it just the top five. Dang, I need 10 then. Mm -hmm. Top 10. Y'all gonna think I'm biased. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. What does that mean? <laughs> I was finishing the note. <laughs> Top 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 10. Come on. <laughs> Reduce it to five. I know you can do All it. All right, let me think. Five. Five, five top. Five. You don't crack up. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not, in no particular order. No particular okay. order. Yeah, yeah. Layla Hathaway. Mm. Ain't no crack up. It's amazing. Yeah, start there. It's a raspy situation. Oof. Fire. She fired. Layla Hathaway. That's not fair because you got Layla, then you got Jasmine. Okay, come on, mm, keep going. Talk the talk. You just gotta go fast then. Come on, come talk on. the talk. Yeah. Usher. Uh, sure. Okay, Usher. Uh, sure. uh, okay, come okay. on now. Okay, three, come on three, now. Three. Why not? Three, yeah. Three. There go three. I respect it. Come on, come on. Five. I got. I got two more. Yes. Yes. Right. I was gonna say. I'm gonna get seven more if you just hurried up with them. Okay. 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 <laughs> Layla. Layla, Jasmine, Usher. Jasmine, Usher. Uh-huh. Tank, you got to be in there. Come on, Tank. Come on, come on. Come, put, on, come on, Chrome Hearts. Put Chrome Hearts in there. Come on, Chrome Hearts. Put the Chrome King in you, there. Because you a singing, talented individual. Thank you so much. All right, the my Chrome last King. one, because I'm not going to count Mike or Prince, because they popped to me. 
They're more than art. Ooh, Ooh, don't, 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 don't you do that. Don't you do that. I know. Don't give, you got to start. Give I need them people, Don't give them people our king. Don't do that. I didn't want to give it to them. They are. They, 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 they call it. Michael Jackson's in it. Okay, that's All right, okay, my, yeah, that's They're six. Michael Jackson. They're yeah, Michael yeah. Jackson. They're them is us. That ain't fair because Beyonce ain't there. Time. Okay, Beyonce. Six. I need six. Top six. That's, that's, okay, all right. They all right. We can stop that. <laughs> no, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll live with that. I'm sad I got about four because I ain't say Patty or nobody, but okay. Come on, Patty. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ah, these my people. It's like my people. Patty's my mama. That's yeah. why you know. She on the list. No, no. Okay. okay. give me Patty too now that you say Of course. It. Give okay. me young Patty. That's my girl. She used to be. She still. Late. She'll call me and be like, "I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're in labor. I got these Grammys. I'm going to." I'll be like, oh. "Well, when when she, she calls you next time, tell her that the R&B Money Podcast needs. Oh, needs for her sure. On the show, we'll go to I'll her. call her. I, listen, I like Philadelphia. If I need to go to Philadelphia, I go to Philadelphia. She will cook for y'all. Go, yeah, cause, oh, she, I, uh, listen, I love food. I stay hungry. All I'm gonna say <laughs> is consider it done. Wow. Wow. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say. That's an easy call. That's an easy call. That's my Tamika, family. For real. I'm going to give you street publishing for when I use that. <laughs> consider <laughs> street All I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say. say is consider it done. Period. Huh. Poo. Poo. I'm not gonna add that. <laughs> I'm not. Gonna. But <laughs> don't add poo. You know, sometimes yeah, you got. You gonna be on the cusp at that point. Sometimes you gotta quit when you are here. I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be. Oh, Jay Bell, Jay Bell. Don't worry about it. it. It's not gonna happen. All right, here we go. Tell me your top <laughs> five R&B songs. Yeah, them jams. The jams. Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They not stuff people heard. Okay. Yeah, well, listen. Let them sure. discover it then. It's your world. Let them discover it. Y'all gonna be mad, but guess what nope. song I like? Go. Before I met you. Do you know the song? Mm. Before I mm-hmm. met you. Mm-hmm. Who's Before I Met You? It's on the Here I Stand album. <clears throat> Don't know that record. Oh, know. We, got, we got to figure out how to pull that boy up. Yeah, yeah pull then, there you go. Play a bit of Before I Met You. Okay. It's called okay. Before I Met You. What's, what's really the name on the Here I Stand album? Uh, Before I Met uh, You. Um, <clears throat> um, Love in this club. Climax? Was that on the Here I Stand? That's, uh, that, that, that was like some, I don't know what album that was. No, that was a different album. Was it a different album? Okay, okay. That was after my time. I don't know. That was one of my favorites. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Okay, Here I Stand. But I love that song. Um, And then, God, five, five. singles? No, five. five no, songs. it don't have to be your, singles. Your just top five. five. Songs. Yeah. It don't have to be, it ain't got nothing to do with nobody else but you. What like songs make you happy? Like a damn bends away. Mm-hmm. What's Michael Jackson's song? Liberian Girl. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I used to love yeah. Liberian Girl. Yeah. I think I played it like 20 or 30 times in a row one day. I used to love that song. I need a baker. Got to feel the need in me. Mm. Feel the need. Oh, yeah, you going there. You going there? Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we got to have some That's Anita. That's feel good music. Got to have some Anita. Mm-hmm. And then, I Couldn't Love You More, Sade. Mm-hmm. Oh, you gonna go from Anita to Shad? Yeah, my playlist is. Yeah, now this is a. Yeah, Jesus, what a song! That's such a what song. What a vibe! If time was running out, <sighs> let's talk like, about vibes. <sighs> I mean, she is the vibe. Oh my she's god, the she's the vibe. Shad, take me by your hand. Come on, Capricorn people. That's what we that's do. What we do. <laughs> Capricorn people. Capricorn. You mean we, Jesus Shade. was a Capricorn? What do you want See, to happen? Here we go. Here Michelle I Obama's a Capricorn. I don't know if Jesus was. <laughs> Jesus was, well, <laughs> possibly. Yeah. He's possibly. Maybe lying about the man, bro. I know. I know. I know. Can we just take that I'm one for the team? trying to claim him, but it just get, just get tricky. You don't want to take him? <laughs> what, what are we going to make him, a Libra? Not, we, we definitely gonna not going to gonna make him no Libra. That's what we're, <laughs> we're not, not going to We're make. not going to make him like my wife. We are not. Man. <laughs> Your wife's a Libra? <laughs> what? My ex Her is a my Libra. Sister. That Libra thing is a skill. Her and my sister. Skills, I'm bound. The violence. What song say that about skill? Um, All right. Was that four or five? Yes. Okay, wait. That's what other four. song do I like? That's four. Let me see. We do. Hey, man, y'all crazy. <laughs> I don't know my fifth song because there's too many songs in my head. Just throw one out. No, I got a medley going on. I can't. I got to wait. I got to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> my head go like. Oh, 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 oh. There's so many songs playing. You know that, like, you know that's, oh, the, oh, you know that's oh. the promo to your intro right now, right? The medley. Yeah, no, you going. doing like. <laughs> <laughs> Is she all right? <laughs> she crazy. Yeah. There's too many songs playing in my head. I'm, I'm so you guys. I'm musical like you guys. 
in of a course. weird. My father was okay. My father was in a group called the Ballads. Let's go back all the way back. Mm. Oh wow! Okay. He was in the Ballads in Oakland. Okay. He has a star in Oakland in Jack Lemon Square. I don't oh know wow! Count all the way. Shit. He had the ba- the fabulous Ballads. They were on Soul Beat every day of my life. Soul Beat. Yes. Yeah, that's Al- what it is. That's, that was yes, our, with that Al was, Ballard. That's, that's the yeah yeah. So be that was the song. Dog. Oh God! So yeah, like I come from music. My yeah. dad made music in our living room. Be like, shh, everybody close the door. And he had the reel to reels going, and he made music no at way. my house. I grew up with that. Yeah, yeah. My dad would have a drink and make a whole album. I'd be like, damn, he did it. Hey, let me tell you, what's funny. We had records all over our walls. That was his version of plaques, but he'd had the actual vinyl in the frame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The actual black record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he made his like, own plaques. He made his own plaques. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I it's love all him. records he was a part of. All the songs he wrote. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm... In fact, Wu Tang sampled one of my dad's songs. No way. It ain't no publishing, it ain't no nothing. Go get his money. Go get his money. Well, probably probably when they were sampling, it wasn't a, it wasn't a rule. No, yet. it's a song called Conditioner. Yeah. Snoop and Wu Tang did a song called, and it's God Bless I Love, is how it starts. They used my dad's actual song on there. Oh, my dad was in the blood. Mac. It's a whole thing. Yeah, mine was. Your dad was in the Mac? Mine he was, was in too. the Mac. He was in the Mac? Yeah, mine Well, your was dad's too. friends with my dad. Yeah. <laughs> they probably was. Yeah, yeah, yeah I same. know exactly who Al Ballard is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He said, oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> your dad might be my dad. <laughs> man. He might be siblings. Man. <laughs> hey, that ain't If Ron knew was here, he would be, he would, he would agree with you. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's, your, what's your mama name? What's your mama name? <clears throat> what's your, <throat> man, we used to have moments we'd be somewhere and somebody started talking and they started talking. Like, hey, you look like, mm-hmm. what's your mama name? Oh, boy. You know you be my son, right? I'm like, yeah. Dad, this is my homie, man. We used to be like that. We about to go hoop, man. We just about to go hoop. We about to go hoop. We about to be uncomfortable because he going to think you knocked his mama down. Like, come on, man. And it's been possible in those days. And then you probably did. There was a lot of freedom in the 70s and It was a lot of freedom. What's your last song? What's your last song? It was a lot of freedom. It's a lot of freedom in the service. It was different. It was different. Uh, I I I have 18 siblings, so I'm just telling you it's Mm -hmm. weird. What'd you say? 18. 18. You have 18 siblings. 18 siblings. That means it was 18 deep, no sleep. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know you're talking to, you a, sweet, you know talking to a sweet Jimmy's legend right here, right? I mean, you might not know about sweets, but this is the sweet Jimmy's legend right here. You know what I mean? You know, she she brought some things through the town. My daddy, I'm telling you. Yeah. He was cold. Yeah. That's Tamika, baby. My dad's cold. <laughs> Tamika, baby. Google me, dog. Google me. Google me, period. 18. 18. My dad's 18 children, for sure. And he claimed a couple of strays. I'd be like, are you sure? Oh, yeah, that's what they used to do, too. Yeah, because they'd be like, that man, he thing. ain't got no daddy. I might as well fine. Ain't no big deal. I was like, man, this is so funny. I that's what my this. dad would say. And I say, I love uh, this activity. Oh, to hear somebody be called a trick baby is the funny mm-hmm. thing in the world, though. A trick baby? Yeah, a trick baby. That's a, yeah. That's, you know what I mean? When one of the women had, you know, a baby that's, you know. We weren't sure about <sighs> Not even that unsure about. She had it on the job. So, you know what I uh, mean? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, well, that <laughs> Yeah, we got different days. During Never mind. Hours. It's some trick babies I out here, I just separated man. myself from your... <laughs> During the hours. No, we ain't siblings. No, no. no. These are... <laughs> your confessions. Wow. <laughs> no hazard pay on these hours. Ain't yeah. <laughs> no hazard <laughs> pay on these hours. You still got to raise the kids. You got to raise them, though. Yeah, you your last raise. song. Yeah, your song five. five. Song, song five. five. You can't give us something. It could be, a, you know. I said Layla Hathaway already? Yep. You didn't say a song by I didn't say, Oh, well then... Something. Hmm. Something by Layla Hathaway. Yeah. Okay. We got five. We got five. We we'll got five. That. Yes. We'll take that. Okay, let's do this. We do a thing called a Voltron, R&B Voltron. It's an R&B super artist mm-hmm. where you take different elements of different artists and make one artist. So you would have to get the vocal from an artist, the, the performance style from an artist, the styling from an artist, and the passion of the artist, the heart of the artist. Who would you get for your vocal? One artist to build your super R and B artist. Damn. Yeah, it's crazy. The vocals. The vocal. vocal. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna, who gonna who? sing these songs? Mm-hmm. One vocal. Jasmine Sullivan. Mm. I'm sorry. Nobody's gonna argue that. She's so mm. bad. she's so bad. I love her. I love you, Jasmine. She's bad. You are loved. I love her. Loved. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Performance style on stage. 
Usher. Mm. Clean. Jasmine singing, Usher performing. Clean. Okay. 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 The styling. Who put styling? that shoe? Yeah, mm-hmm. who fly? Like put that shoe on? That's who not a that? fair one for Why me. Not? It's a very fair one. It's a very fair Why? one. It's a fair one. Don't do this. That ain't fair. Yeah, it, it is. Because you you know you it feels like a hot seat. Like what it's a part of it's part of it. Yeah, it's part of it. Styling. Mm-hmm. Beyonce. Mm. Come on. Come on. You know what I mean? Because it's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. Beyonce. Um, the passion of the artist, the heart of the artist. Can I have two for that one? Come yes. On. You Come can. On. Okay. Come you on. can. Beyonce and Usher. Oof. That's There's some hardworking people. Hard, I, hard I will say mo- hands down, I don't know people mm. that work. Like, I sun up to sun down kind of working. Like, right. never tired. Like, round the clock. Must be done. Right. Must be done, yeah. and we'll get it done. They're chasing perfection. Crook. Yep, Perf- perfectionist. Yep. Yeah, they're chasing it. But you, yeah. you, it's there's the, that's that's the separation. I promise you, yeah. it's a separation. Yeah. For sure. naming- if I could say this hands down, that is the key. You know, there's a person that can outwork you. Mm-hmm. Yep, they mm-hmm. will outwork you. They just they will outwork you. It's you. You can tell yeah. by can where tell. they are. Yeah. They'll outwork you. Yeah. You gonna you gonna add that extra segment for? Her? And huh. who's yeah. who's who's gonna style the artist? Not my ass, because that's too much for <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Who would style them? In today's Who's gonna be styling her? Not me. <laughs> I really love who's Fantasia's stylist? His name is um I love his the, work. Who's though. doing the work right now? Right yes. now, right now. I love him. Yeah, 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 whoever's yeah, yeah. Right, whoever's and yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. Whoever's is putting them clothes on her right now. I can't now. think of the name either because someone someone just mentioned Fantasia style He's to great. me the other day. He's great. You're great. God, I hate that Whoever I don't know his name. I'm annoyed. Clothes on Fant- I mean, I would say what the last year or so. Yeah, cooking only because the camera's on. I can't remember because please don't take it as yeah. a sign of disrespect because I have told him you, I've I've tagged him. What is his? I'll find it. Cooking. Dan. Well, yeah, maybe. Look. Yes, D Hawk. B Hawk. No, is it B or a D? D Hawk. You killing it. Cooking. Yes. Yeah. Cooking. Out here cooking. And whoever's and whoever's taking the photos and editing. Oh, cause clean. They, do. they hooking that shit up. She got clean. Team. She got a good team with her. They. Oh, they, she's she's because because really it's like it's a combo. The, the one person who's gonna take a photo. Yeah. And it look like. It's gonna be in the magazine they understand tomorrow. Angles is before. Monica? Oh man, that's what Monica does. Damn, you oh, done yeah. made me forget. Monica take a photo. Oh, yeah, Monica, I didn't and start it's gonna this be in the publication Q&A over. God, tomorrow. No, nope. I forget mm-mm, Monica. Mm-mm. Monica, that's no disrespect because I love. She, Monica put that shit on. She put that shit on, and she got the voice. She got a lot of shit too. I forgot. Shit. Her yeah. shit is her shit is precise. Yeah, she is not fucking around with her imagery. Not her at face, all. hair, by no means. She cooked. She ain't got a hangnail. And shout out to Fantasia because. You're they, cooking. She's yeah. killing. She made me cut my hair. No. Really? I Because, you know, I've all these years I've had long hair, weaves, done all the hybrids of it all. And I was like, I'm sick of this damn hair. And at Fantasia, one good day I saw a picture. I said, that's it. I'm doing it. Well, you look good. Thank you. I feel good because yeah. it's just mine. It's mine. You lean. You look like you've been reading my book. Oh, yeah. I you lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I see you. I was filming. You're not going to have me on camera. Like, I'm like, about to give me on this motherfucking TV it. screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Period. <laughs> Period, <poop. laughs> Period. She's just going to keep. She's just going to keep. I can't keep me with that. She's going to keep pulling I'm you. not going to say it. <laughs> Don't you dare say it. You bet I'm watching you. I'm like, never. Slip. No. no. <laughs> like a nip slip. Not me. Never. Say it. Not me. You will not. <laughs> Show I promise you, you won't. Nah, I can't. We got one more thing we want to talk to you about. One more thing. Okay. Before, we can't let you out of here without here. this. Before oh, we get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, take the church. It's about to go. Take the church. Take the church. I ain't saying no names. Hey! I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. Who you was? Come on. Who you was with? Yeah. What you did? Don't, Don't say, say she. I ain't saying <laughs> no names.
nigga always breaking something. I can't stand him. <laughs> what did he break? Who knows? Who knows? A key. He he can afford it. He can, he can, buy, it. He can buy another one. He what, buy another a key, one. a rule. He can buy another one. So yes. So this uh speaking of rules, mm. tell the rules. The rule to this game is Uh-oh. you can't say no names. Mm-hmm. So you tell us a story, mm-hmm. funny or fucked up, or funny and fucked up. Mm. And the journeys. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Of town business herself. <laughs> huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Snitches get stitches. Yeah. Mm. Mm. If you don't say no names, you ain't snitching. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's true. That's I like true. this game. You know Let's what I mean? And the only rule to the game is yes. you just can't say no names. So That's easy get, for Give me. us one. Come on, give us okay. something. I'll be two of you. What's the two. question? Get to it. No, it ain't no question. It's you. Your it's story. you. You tell us a story mm-hmm. without saying no names. It's a funny or fucked up story or a funny and fucked up story. No names, though. Just no name. That's all. It's, a, it's very simple. I had a client. Okay. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Like, here, here you go. <laughs> like, <"Whoa." laughs> I had a client that once wanted to wear something so badly that they could not fit this garment. Mm-hmm. So they did their album cover, and the entire back of the jacket was cut open <laughs> and reassembled by just... What I would refer to as nigger rigging. Nigger rigging. It was a nigger rigged outfit. So the outfit has no back to it. None. If you want to <laughs> should there have been a drone, we would all have gone home. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Just cut the back out. Whole album cover. This is a great album. People love it and know it. And yeah, this, she's he or she is backless. Wow. For the, for the drip. For the drip. It was not near this person's size, but we, from the front, it definitely was. Oh, that's great. That's the actually a great story. you go. That tells you how far we go for, for the yeah. drip. Yeah. For the drip. And, and, and. And for the add, image. Add to that, if it was a consignment piece or at this point, Ooh. now you got to buy it. Well, you can't buy it. Like, if it's a sample and for something that's not out yet and we're pre-season, which we generally were. Um, you can't buy it. You just pretty got to explain, or you got to have it re, you know, assembled. <sighs> got to explain. Before, well, you can reassemble it before you the. You can't end. reassemble a jacket. Of course down you the can. Middle. Cut it on the seam. What do you mean? You mean cut, cut, cut a jacket? Yeah. Jackets have seams. Which on what kind of jacket? <laughs> Any jacket. You're, you're not, I bet you this jacket is seam so somewhere. Is that rich? You don't have a seam in the back. Nope. Well, no, because that's not fair. It's neoprene. That's not fair. Come on. But uh, huh. she, no- she she kick, she kicking that knowledge right now. She She's saying she, words. I, I have no idea what she, what, what, what is, is what it's it's neoprene. A, yeah, it's the fabrication. It's fabric. He uh, can go scuba diving in it. He can go scuba. I wish he would. I'd be <laughs> cracking up. <laughs> He'd be flying though. My daddy'd be like, hey, hey, boy, "Come out the water like this on you." <laughs> Aquaman? You better believe <laughs> You just gave him a bad idea. Yeah. Come out the water and Get your Rich goggles. Friends. Get your goggles, Rich You Fred. kidding me? Rich he Fred should do you. some goggles. He should. See, I, I I sell game is to be sold. The game is to be sold. You yeah. just messed up. Yeah, yeah. Rich nah, Rich. definitely go. You gonna have some goggles. So. Strike that from the record. I'm gonna need 25 percent. <laughs> right, that, Rich. Because uh, he will gonna do... need the other 25. You know and... what though? That's actually a dope ass idea. It's a really dope idea. I was. My brain, though, is rapid fire like that. And that's why I don't be talking on these goddamn podcasts. Who are you talking on ours? He's talking on ours hey, to we, me and Scuba I, Steve I over here. Y'all. <laughs> yeah. I love y'all. I love y'all. Scuba Steve. Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman Tank. You're diving in the goddamn office, man. That's our whole campaign, though, for those. Now that I think about it, ooh, I just thought of a whole bunch of shit. Now. Ooh. Ooh. Rich, holler at me. Cause you, Rich, holler at us. Yeah. I guess, oh, now us. It's us. Now we us. It's on our podcast. Because I manage so you. Because I manage you. Oh, okay. I manage you. I manage you. I manage the idea, the think tank. The so, think tank. you know, you come Correct. to us to get it right. Y'all are, uh, this is a really dope platform you guys have. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And I think it was just, you know, for us, like, um, first, you're, you are the first style icon to be on the show. 
Thank you. No, yeah. no more, actually. You, you, That's it. You know what this is. <laughs> and we're going to end that with this. Damn. <laughs> Jealousy. We want to we wanna give some, some we light. Give some Hell light. They all get able to take all the credit. And then, you know, I had got the hanger that she uh, put that on. The, no, you, you see, you were first. And, they and, will and, come. They be coming and, with. And came I was the one that ran and got the lint listen, roller for that video. Ain't no, ah. Hey, listen. Ain't, ain't no assistance coming in here to undermine what you have created. They do. They do every day. I see. I hear it. Listen, you got to, I mean, think My about class, it. My class, we call me like, was it you that got the jacket or was it her that got the jacket? I'd be like, I'm the one that put the custom buttons on it and the embroidery and the, yeah, so, uh, yeah. No, they, I be getting those kind of questions. Star Wars. Star get, Wars. That's a, a war. show. Star Wars. Hey, yo, let's do it. Star Wars is a show. Star Wars, like Star, ooh. Star Wars. <laughs> That'll get it. that'll be yeah, that'll be trademarked that tomorrow. It's probably already trademarked though because no. it's so common. It's too good. That's too yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not a show yet though. It's not. Well, I somebody seen gonna it. do it once we. I just need to be the. Can I just please be the host? That kind of the kind of you know. The referee. Star Wars. Guys. Yeah. Star Wars. Do it. Star Wars. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Edit I'm, all that out of this episode. Yeah. yeah. Get that Wars. out of here because they don't need to see that. <laughs> yeah. So listen to Mika. Um, my birthday twin. Yeah. Uh, twin, you know, twin, twin, twin. 20, 20, 24, birthday twin, 24 years in. Yeah. Um, You know, it's always been love, man, since day I one. I know. It's always been family since day I one. I love all yeah. of my clients. Can I tell you, everybody I've ever styled, they're like family. Yeah. Um, Because it's, it's it, it, go, it transcends just style and dressing and socks and whatever and bobbles. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of a mindset. Again, a meeting of the minds. And we talk and we'll be in there. I'll be like, you think? You know, we'll be in the in the trailer like, I don't think that, nah, that color's not going. That's going to look terrible on camera. You see all that going on? You don't want to have those patterns moving. So, like, we really talk and get into It's kind of psychological. Yeah. So, you know, people always ask, like, how do you marry one of your clients? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know, you know, but that's how, because you become very, very good friends. You start sharing that kind of space. You really do. And you become really, and, really close yeah, yeah. friends and you guys hang out, whatever, yeah. whatever. And then here we are. You know what I mean? It just, it happens. You, you're like BFFs. So we really become close. So, um, yeah. Well, you're my dog. And, that's my dog. And we, we appreciate you. And we, we birthday yeah, twins. Yeah, so we yeah, like brother and sister. Yeah, train. And I appreciate you for, for doing it. Cause we talked about it. We told you we wanted to have you on. Yes. Yeah. And you said you would come. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you came. Thank you. And so we Thank really, you. really, And here really I stand. Appreciate it. Because it's like, <laughs> it's the information that the, these these young entrepreneurs need. Yeah, they do. And they a do. lot of this mm -hmm. information, um, it transcends all workspaces. It's true. You know what I mean? The, the, the biggest one, biggest lesson of them all is just hard work. It's hard work. Dedication to the craft. And if yeah. I were to give one tidbit of, of um, advice to any, when you are working with anybody that you, you know, you're aspiring to style or assist or whatever it is, remain professional. Yeah. Professionalism is so important because it's easy in such a personal job to kind of cross the lines, you know, and kind mm -hmm. of like if they hear you talking and chime in like, hey, you know. Uh, that ain't your business. Don't do it. Yeah. 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 Mind your own, you live long. Yeah. In this business, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I always try to tell them professionalism is key, and um, present yourself in such a way that you want, you know, they want you back. That you want to win, and they want you mm. back. Love it, love ladies it. and gentlemen. Yes. Uh, my name is Tank. I'm Jay Valentine, and this is the Army Money Podcast, the authority on all huh. things. Yeah, tell them about it. R and B. Come on, man. <laughs> we put that shit on around. Yeah. Huh. And we got one of the originators <laughs> that put it on me. To me, come on, so y'all ready man. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. R&B, man.